Hi everyone, welcome to our talk. I'm Feng Xiao from Georgia Tech. Today, I'm going to talk about some interesting new vulnerabilities in Node.js ecosystem. The talk will cover three parts. First, I will introduce the technical details of the attack. Then, I will talk more about the bug finding part, in which we build JavaScript program analysis tools to automatically detect the new vulnerabilities. In the last part, I will give an impact analysis on the new risk and some evaluation data about our tools. First of all, let's have some background information. Node.js is for executing JavaScript code outside of browsers. The diagram on the right is an overall system diagram of Node.js. To satisfy the needs of server-side scenarios, the runtime provides a set of core modules to let JavaScript interact with the host environments. Nowadays, many websites are deployed on Node.js. For example, Node.js are intensively used in companies like PayPal and LinkedIn. For these applications, Packing communication data into object representations like JSON is a very common feature. This feature is convenient because with the help of this feature, Node.js applications can send and receive complex data structures. From the monthly download statistic on the right, we can have a sense of how object sharing is being supported and used in the Node.js ecosystem. However, the convenient object sharing introduced a novel risk, which we call hidden property abusing. HPA effectively injects additional properties during the object sharing and thus attack the critical internal program states. In fact, we call those additional properties as hidden properties because they are kind of like hidden parameters to the endpoint user API. These parameters are associated with certain internal program states, but nobody knows their existence until an attacker launches HPA to attack them. In the talk, we mainly focus on the server-side scenarios, where a remote attacker wants to attack a Node.js web applications or some microservices. Before we go into the details, let's first grab some conceptual information about the attack. HPA identifies CWE915 risks in Node.js, which is about improper modification of dynamic object attributes. Although such risks have been identified in some dynamic languages such as Ruby and PHP, we are the first to identify them in Node.js. Moreover, we find HPA differs from existing vulnerabilities in multiple aspects. Taking mass assignment vulnerability as an example, mass assignment is also a CWE915 issue in Ruby. However, in mass assignment, the attacker does not pass objects into the program less like we did in HPA. Instead, the attacker uses a platform specific feature to modify the certain existing objects during the assignment operation. Also, the payloads are different. Mass assignment payloads are literal value. However, HPA payload can be either literal value or nested objects. More importantly, Ruby is a strongly typed language, so the mass assignment vulnerability cannot introduce new properties to the victim objects. However, HPA can inject arbitrary properties, which make HPA more flexible and powerful. To illustrate attack details, we use a real-world vulnerabilities we found from Routing Controller, a popular web framework. We will attack its official code to demonstrate an end-to-end -end exploit, from the security check bypassing to SQL injection. So the first step is hidden property injection where the malicious user in includes an additional property during the login authentication procedure. As shown in the diagram, the attacker passes an additional property named constructor. In the second step, the program will pass the input object. More specifically, the server program will perform a merge operation. The operation will is carried out by putting every 
property of the power object into the scalar object. After the op operation, as shown in the, the diagram, the hidden property is also propagated to the scalar. Actually, the scalar object defines the input data format restriction, which is a critical data structure for up the upcoming input validation. It is worth noting that this merge operation does not result in prototype pollution. Instead, we only insert a conflicting name property to the object. As shown in the green box, the real property, the real prototype is not affected. Please refer to our paper for more discussion about prototype. With such an insertion, when a function validates one want to look up format information from the constructor, it in fact reads our injected property rather than the real constructor. To bypass the input validation, we just need to set the format specification as an invalid value so that our sequel injection payload can escape the check. The last step is much more straightforward. The validated payload then flows into the sensitive database API to finish the entire attack. OK, so this is how an entire HPA exploit works. In fact, the code logic behind the vulnerability is much more complex than the simplified attack graph here. For example, the input validation module itself contains 30,000 lines of code. So it would be helpful if we can have a tool to automatically track these data structures and discover harmful hidden properties exist in the program logics. To detect and exploit HPA, we propose Lynx, a hybrid JavaScript program analysis tool. The diagram below gives a high-level workflow of links. The tool mainly consists of two parts. The left part is for discovering potential hidden properties. It will first leverage dynamic flow tracking to pinpoint user input data flows. And then it uses static synthetic analysis to infer potential hidden properties. The right part is for detecting harmful hidden properties and generate the exploit automatically. To help future Node.js security research, we will open source our Linux project at the link below. So for the first part, the very first thing Linux will do is dynamic data flow tracking. First of all, Linux will generate a label object, which is a unique key value pair. And Linux will inject the label into the input data of the program. To observe the program execution, we leverage a JavaScript analysis framework called Jalanki to instrument our test program. In the end, as shown in the rightmost diagram, we execute the test program and start hidden property detection. During the execution, Lynx will examine every object within the data flow. If an object carries our property label we injected in the first step, we apply the syntactic analysis to discover all potential hidden properties. In the second step, Lynx further analyzes the recorded properties and finds potential explorable input. In order to do so, Lynx first generates an explore templates that can reach the potential vulner vulnerable property. In the second step, we run the testing program with our constructed templates and all symbolically executing the hidden property. As shown in the diagram, the symbolic execution engine will try to explore all the possible passes. In this project, we define six different sinks for the hidden property abusing. When a certain sink is hit, links will fetch the corresponding payload and add it to the final output. During our research, we choose 102 widely used Node.js programs for evaluation. With links, we tracked more than 3,000 property carriers and detect more than 400 hidden property candidates. In the end, we confirmed 15 zero-day vulnerabilities. 
With the help of symbolic execution, Lynx even synthesized 10 exploits automatically. So how is the impact of the detected vulnerabilities? We found that HPA can introduce various attack effects, such as leaking credential data, bypassing security checks, or denial of services. From the result, we actually have two insights. The first is that hidden property abusing effectively enlarged the Node.js attack services because we compromised previously unreachable program states. Second, classic defense are not mitigating HPA. We found that some widely used input validation modules are even vulnerable to HPA by themselves. To conclude, first, we designed a hidden property abusing attack, which leads to the discovery of 15 zero-day vulnerabilities in Node.js 1. Second, we designed a novel program analysis tool to automatically detect and exploit HPA. Third, our evaluation shows that HPA can effectively attack previously unreachable program states and leads to many security risks. Thanks for attending our talks.